Welcome to Bears in Excel. Today is May 22nd, and we're going to take a look at CNO. And CNO, um, we've been saying that uh, we, we were following it really close when it uh, looked like it was going to break out of uh, resistance and maybe have a run. Uh, it did not, and uh, you know, failed, came back down. We have the uh, long-term bullish moving averages, and uh, it didn't put the heart on them. Um, and, uh, you know, we bounced out of it. Uh, people got their hopes up, slammed back into resistance and uh, and fell back down with the overall market. Secondaries are, uh, you know, down and uh, low. Uh, you know, MACD histogram, MACD pointing down, ticking down. <clears throat> uh, stochastic, extremely low. RSI, still a little bit uh, of room to go to the downside. <clears throat> But I had been mentioning uh, to the uh, the CNO people that I that I talked to that uh, that we are now in uh, you know no man's land, which is between uh, 725 roundabout and uh, 795, and uh, all that range with no support, no resistance. Uh, it's easy to play for dimes, and that's what's going on right now. You're seeing big swings of uh, you know dimes. Uh, somebody comes in, they buy a bunch, they pop it off, they sell it uh, through the rest of the day, or they short it near the top and sell what they bought low, and uh, you know bring it down. Um, you know there isn't a lot of uh, until it gains traction once again, and uh, in the past that has been for it to uh, you know either go down and sit on resistance or to uh, barrel through it and uh, or, or support I'm sh I should say barrel through it and and then find a new bottom but um, with the short-term moving averages expanding once again pointed down and and really this is not to be trusted because there it, this is a no man's land and uh, it's not uh, at the moment something that I would want to play it's interesting when it gets low in the range or high in the range and uh, definitely have a stop on the other side of it in case uh, you know it's the moment for it to break through you don't want to get hurt but uh, you know the odds for now is that we will continue to see swings within that range now there are a few um, you know possibilities um, you know could we be in a down channel yeah we could um, Just gonna do a little playing here, and uh, but you know conversely, you know are we in a you know potential uh, area where this line would make sense? Yes, you know that that could make sense. Um, I don't like um, I don't like this one because it is too. Uh, makes the range expanding and I prefer to think that ranges should be parallel or contracting but that's just my uh, personal uh, personal preference but if we do have this de descending wedge certainly it could break out to the upside in which case uh, it would most likely break resistance and go to the upside in which case this line actually would make sense it's not my preference but uh, you know if it were to break out of resistance out of this uh, descending wedge and it comes up then uh, then you do have a price target right about um, you know 880 between 880 and uh, and nine dollars which we had talked about before when we were talking about a breakout back here so actually that would make sense if that were to occur but if it were to continue down which is entirely possible also then uh, you know we won't have a real support until um, um, well we have the support area we talked about before and uh, but not until about uh, you know six 
70 roundabout, and then uh, major support back here at uh, 640 level. So it is a uh, dangerous stock at the moment with uh, this playing for dimes mentality that is going on. Um, but at some point soon, we should have an indication uh, as to where it's going to go, and it will probably, you know, follow uh, the overall market. Um, but it will have a slant regardless. And um, um, <clears throat> here on the 60-minute, uh, we can see that everything is ticking down. Um, will we get uh, any kind of reaction off of this line? Maybe. <clears throat> the bigger line is going to be this one right here, and when it tags it, somewhere between 740 and 730 is, uh, is going to be the uh, telltale sign as to what it wants to do. So I would definitely be looking out for that. And if it does just turn around uh, or bounce off one of these and break this line, uh, somewhere between uh, you know 785 and 770, depending on when it would get there, if it gets there, uh, that will also be a, uh, a big indication. So I'd be watching the dollar, uh, watching the overall indexes, and watching those lines. But uh, sure do like CNO. It is a very good stock. Uh, I do love trading it. Um, it doesn't look healthy right now, but uh, a lot of that is artificial due to the trading. So be careful. If you play it for dimes, definitely protect yourself with a stop uh, at a level where it will have to encounter resistance and break it. And uh, But beyond that, good luck. As always, all investing decisions are your own. And this chart and video are for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only.